Hey YouTube, how's it going? Yak Science here with another OCHEM video. Today we're going to be talking about bromination of benzene, which is a specific type of electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction that will involve adding a bromine onto a benzene ring. So let's see how that happens. So step one of this reaction will actually involve making a really strong electrophile, and that will involve two ingredients, Br2 and iron bromide. So let's draw those out. All right, so here I've drawn a Br2 molecule and an iron bromide molecule or iron 3 bromide. Okay, so one thing to note is that these bromines are much more electronegative than this iron is. That means that the electron density will be pull, pulled towards the bromine atoms, giving the iron a delta positive charge. Let's draw that out. All right, so what will happen next is this Br2 molecule, or one of the Br's in the Br2 molecule, is going to nucleophilically attack this electrophilic iron. All right, and that'll get us here. So notice that now this bromine has a positive charge because it, take it takes on two bonds, and the iron atom here has a negative charge. So this will serve as our strong electrophile in the bromination reaction. So now that we've seen how to prepare the strong electrophile, let's go into the mechanism of how to add this, how to add a bromine specifically onto a benzene ring. All right, so here I've drawn our two reactants, a benzene molecule and the strong electrophile that we created uh, in the previous step. So the first thing that'll happen is you're going to see a nucleophilic attack between the pi bond, one of the pi bonds of the benzene, and this bromine right here. All right, and in turn, when that happens, this bond between the first two bromines is going to collapse, and the electrons will go to the positively charged bromine, making it super happy, right? Because it wants those electrons. So that'll get us here. All right, so now we're here. Notice that we've added the Br onto the ring. But notice that we've also formed a carbocation because we disturbed the aromaticity of benzene. So the next step has to be regenerating that pi bond and restoring the aromaticity. So that'll be done via acid-base chemistry. Remember that now we have uh, the rest of our former electrophile <coughs> hanging, hanging around in solution. So let's draw that. And also remember that there are some hidden hydrogens, right, that we didn't draw in. There's a hydrogen on this carbon, on this one, right? All of them have a hidden hydrogen. So I'm going to draw in this one right here. So what will happen is this Br, right, is going to break away from the catalyst and use those electrons to nab this hydrogen, right, to deprotonate it. And as that happens, the electrons in this carbon-hydrogen bond will collapse and go into reforming that pi bond, all right? Just like that. I hope that's clear. So our products will look like this. So notice that now we have our restored aromaticity. We have our Br coming off of the benzene ring. We've regenerated our catalyst, our iron bromide catalyst, and we've formed some HBr from this deprotonation step previously. Okay, so that's how we add a Br uh, to a benzene ring. I hope that was helpful, and thanks for watching.